stem cell uh, injections there, are there going to be enough for, for Ryan Tannehill to be back next year? Yeah, all the uh, information gonna... we are hearing is that uh, Ryan Tannehill's rehabilitation from that knee injury and the decision not to have surgery was a very good decision because Ryan Tannehill is on track to participate in the spring, certainly in training camp. They believe he'll be ready to start that season opener. So uh, Ryan Tannehill, it's going to be interesting to see if or how his mobility is affected because head coach Adam Gase really tapped in to Ryan Tannehill's athleticism. That was one of the reasons Tannehill was able to finish 12th in the NFL in passer rating and top 10 in completion percentage and yards per attempt. This is uh, doubly good news, not the least of which is the fact that he doesn't have to get his ACL redone. I I've seen this before where a guy has a partial ACL and they see if they can rehab it, try and work through it, and he winds up getting surgery anyway. So this is the good news that Ian Rappaport expected a couple of weeks ago when he said he expected uh, Tannehill to be cleared. But it's also good news because Adam Gaze at some point last year, about midway through the season, started to dial back what he was asking Ryan Tannehill and his receivers to do. He had asked them to do what, what Peyton Manning had done before, which is get to the line of scrimmage, make some calls, make some adjustments. And then he realized, you know what, I'm asking these guys to do too much too soon, so we need to dial that back a little bit. Well, if Tannehill is going to participate all offseason, that'll be good time for him and those targets to get on the same page.